What's up, race team? I'm Jason over at Go Power Sports along with Taylor at Go Power Sports. Today, we are going to watch the footage of the new track. We've made some changes to the beginning. We also added a little bit less than half of a mile. So we're gonna go over the entire track, the names of it, obstacles to look out for. So let's get into it. And those who don't know, November 11th, 1111, that's the GPS 180, both the junior start at 10 a.m. The main event starts at 12, but show up a day early, camp out, get a few practice laps in, and we'll go and get to the footage. Let's do it. You're good. <clears throat> so this is pit row. This is where people have to go 10 miles an hour or below. This is also where they get their timing. Don't jump the berm jump like the Jason burn. just did, but we'll have that taped off. This is called Send City, just because you can definitely send it, go as fast as you need to. Yeah, this is a long straightaway. We extended it quite a bit from the straightaway from last year, but you do come into that hairpin turn, so you gotta really be careful coming into that, especially on the first lap. Yeah. Once you get around this corner, we're looking at the beginning of Dragon's Tail. Just Dragon's it's a Tail. little windy road, dirt road all the way through. Yeah, so if, if y'all can tell, I know the guys there last year would be able to tell. It wasn't, like this is like a track. It's all dirt. We've been dragging it. Um, last year it was kind of like just mowed grass. We just cut it as short as we could because we didn't have a bulldozer or anything. But this year we have a bulldozer, so we were able to make it pretty sweet. Like this is all really good, loose dirt. Yeah, people could take it easy, but I think a lot of our pros are gonna take advantage of this and be flying through here. Yeah, this part, man, they're gonna be booking it around all these corners. So we're coming up on another straightaway. This one you can really hammer down on it too, but you do come into a sharp left when you enter the trees. You we'll see, I almost there. overshot it <laughs> right there. But well, usually there's going to be a, a banner there, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, big banners out there with an arrow. Yes. So last year this was called Sherwood Forest Part 1. Since it's a whole lot smaller on the map, as we can tell, bottom right, Sherwood Grove. We looked at what's smaller than Perfect. a forest. It's the a grove. grove. And this is the fun part. This is going up the hill. This was my favorite part to watch Jeez. on the first lap. Uh, yeah, look at the elevation, <laughs> just straight up. What do you, I guess you're gaining 150 feet in elevation in like yeah. no time. But yeah, seeing that from the top view, everyone racing up that hill, I love that sight. So Sherwood Forest. Part two, we get the part, part two, two just because we were yeah, lazy. I like that. <laughs> Do you think there'll be much passing going on during this section? Depends how fast you are and how slow the person in front of you is. Yeah. This is probably the tightest portion of the track, oh, but right. A this lot of the so small wheel right stuff and hardtails have to go quite a bit slower on this. Their teeth are going to be chattering. <laughs> yes. The big wheel bikes, you can go down here pretty quick. But it is loose and big rocks. Really all through here, all the way until you get back to the road. So it's a 10 inch max. What would be the smallest wheel you'd go on this? The smallest we saw last year I believe is six inch. Yeah, the doodle bugs. There were doodle bugs. There were, there was even a little rascal. Yeah. Or maybe two. So what bike are you riding? I'm on a Hurricane 200 with 20 by seven, eight knobby tires. So I have extra ground clearance. And I am on a hardtail Megamoto 212. And then in the middle, we've got Toby, our, our track uh maintenancer what do you want to call him track layouter track builder track builder toby he's on the megamoto 80 with the full suspension kit yep. on it you see how quick he came out of there yeah <laughs> he was booking it so i changed the name from yeah from camel's back to the yui i like it 
Easy That's enough. what everybody was calling it last year. Yeah. Like, you know the part where you do the U-turn and come back up? Oh yeah, the U-E. This pucker up. Pucker up buttercup. You, so is steak and let the best way to go? I guess going back and forth? <laughs> Man, the fast guys, it looked like it didn't matter which route they took. Yeah. They were just keeping their weight on the back tire yeah. and just sending it. Yeah. And that's the smoothest way to do it, really. Yeah, very true. When you, you either got to go super fast or really slow. Yeah. This part's just fun. This is a pretty fast portion. You can pass, there's basically two lanes. Yeah. But it is sandy, it's, it's loose. Sandy. It's smooth, but yeah, there's some, some loose sand out here. Everywhere else is pretty much dirt or clay. This is like the only sandy portion of the whole track. Did we ever go back to move that tree out of the path? I did. Okay. For the most part, as much as I could by myself. This part's rough, but fun. Dude, oh. your bike's handling that like a champ. So my chain just came off. Yeah. And here's the new addition called new edition. This was super easy too. Yeah. We super fly easy to put in. Part. But you go up some power lines and you end up doing a hard turn into the forest, right? Yep. And this dirt all along this part is super nice yeah we'll put a sign there for where to turn yeah that part was so easy to make we just went down at one time with the dozer and then up here we just drug it with the tractor it was already all dirt nice it's pretty smooth windy plenty of passing areas one thing don't go off the track like there could be a little barbed wire fence close by. Thorn bushes. Or like the a couple of the big wrecks I saw last year was from guys going off the track. Once you get in the deeper grass, you don't know what's in there. And there's, this is a rocky piece of property. Mines. <laughs> it could yeah, be mine. mines. So that's where new addition ends, and this is yep. power stretch going down the other way on the power lines. To me, this is the sketchiest part of the entire yeah. thing. You're on a sort of a slope, yeah. and there's power poles well, on your right. Yeah. Those will be marked, and we'll have you know caution tape around them yeah. so you can see them from a distance. Do not hug those poles. Yeah. But this gets to that back corner of the Ooh. property here in a bit. I think we might need to cut out some of these trees that are hanging over the path. Yeah, we still got a little bit of trimming to do. And here's right the, here, yeah. best route, definitely how you did it, going off to the left. And I call this buck and bronco because it is bumpy going <laughs> up and down this hill. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah. I'm glad your GoPro was strapped on pretty it's good. It's got that, that stabilization camera on it. But yeah, if I didn't, you would see it all over the place. <laughs> and there's two sections to this. You go up and down two steep, bumpy hills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at the elevation drop. Yeah. It's quick. And then you can kind of hear, but there's some loose sand down this back road too. Yes. Luckily that pipe is covered now though. Yeah, dude, I know for a fact a few people ate it on that pipe. Yeah. last year but we just dug a trench and buried it no more pipe now we're new hogland well that was new hogland and i guess this is the end of it so we're coming into country road country road this is a pretty fast portion definitely do a lot of passing right here Sharp left. We put a sign there. Nate's. And so this was pretty sketchy and rough last year, yeah. at least at the beginning. Um, but we've dozered this whole thing. So it's quite a bit smoother. It's and, not perfect, but it's. Yeah. And you'll have camping to the left here. So those who plan on camping, 
watch out because you are near the track and you'll probably hear a lot of people doing practice laps while you're trying to sleep. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Is there people. A time for, for practicing? Just go just all night? Dusk. A lot of people didn't have headlights. Um, and that's pit road. We're back. That was a lap. That was a lap. So going slow, 10 to 20 miles an hour, that was 12 minutes. You said mm -hmm. last year, what was the fastest lap? Eight? I think they barely broke into the sevens. Okay. A good average lap is about nine to 10 minutes. A lot of the fast guys were doing in the eights pretty okay. consistently. Well, that's our lap time. Hopefully see you guys out there November 11th for the GPS 180. We'll go ahead and drop a link below so that you can see more details or if you wanted to go ahead and register. And uh, we hope to see you guys out there. November 11th, we cannot wait. Actually, we'll probably be seeing a bunch of you on November 10th. The camp out, the whole scene last year was just awesome. And this year, we've got a lot more concrete. We have like a full build mechanics area. We're gonna have tools, a welder, a torch, air compressor we're ready to rock and roll man Bonfire. we'll be out there helping you with your bikes yeah should be a good time heck yeah all right thanks for checking out the video we'll see you guys out there november 11th and make sure to like subscribe and as always ride on, ride on.